she would wake us up at two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning when she was about three years old and say, mommy, daddy, can I do math? Um, and she, it wasn't just like two plus two. She would make us ask her questions like 567 plus 237. And we were like, well, that's not typical for a three-year-old. Celinda and Philip knew that Caitlin was different. She was definitely intelligent, but she also had awkward social skills and personality traits that pointed the parents towards autism. Do I overwhelm strangers and then they're like, please leave me without saying anything because it would be rude to say anything. And I struggle with finding moments like that where I need to back off and calm down. Being diagnosed with autism would provide the resources that would help Caitlin at school, at home, and in social situations. But the gifted designation she previously received was making it difficult for practitioners. It was a lot harder for the experts to identify her as being autistic because she was very observant about what was going on around her. And so it was really easy if you were only seeing her for a short period of time for her to be able to mask all of those underlying traits. After years of advocating for their child in the medical community, the family reached out to Variety to fund a private autism assessment for Caitlin. Because Caitlin now has an autism designation, um, it's going to be much easier for us to find uh, therapies that will help her, um, both uh, for her mental health. It also will it allows us to get her into um, play groups to help her learn how to uh, interact with her peers and with other people and get those really um, difficult to understand social cues that are sometimes easy for us to get, but not so easy for her to understand. Because my husband, uh, Philip, is disabled, it would have been next to impossible for us to have been able to pr afford the private options on our own. So Variety funding it and providing us with that grant was just absolutely incredible and helpful for our family. Autism isn't a limit or a gate, a wall that you cannot escape. It's not a disease or a trap. It's a different perspective on the world, another way to see things.